Imagine walking into a store and unknowingly walking out with a stolen product. Today, we will be taking a look at a secret Lego trafficking operation and how an Amazon employee unraveled the whole scheme. From July to September 2021, a four-star Amazon store was constantly being robbed. Repeat shoplifters were entering the store daily, stealing Lego sets, Kindle tablets, and Echo Dots. Due to no consequences and no one stopping them, thieves would just walk in the store, grab the product, and leave. They didn't even try to conceal it. In most cases, with the rise of Lego theft, with the interlocking bricks being a better investment than gold, thieves have been on the prowl for the building toys. While most of the time, the thieves themselves aren't Lego fans, so they need a destination to unload the products. Common places where stolen Lego shows up would be Facebook Marketplace. Have you ever wondered how that 95-year-old grandma somehow acquired hundreds of Lego sets and can sell them for 50% off? They're likely stolen. Online retailers, pawn shops, and consignment stores are also popular places to dump stolen Lego sets. Talking about consignment stores, this story now shifts its focus to a popular consignment store at Pike Peak Market, Rummage Around. 67 year-old store owner Mark Brady was on the board of directors for Pike Place for three years and has been running the successful confinement store for over 18 years. The Vietnam War era Navy veterans reputation in the community was quite positive. The gentleman independently raised his grandson which proved he was a family man. Mark defines himself as a passionate supporter of the market and all those who work there extending credit to crafters, security guards, police, firefighters, veterans, and others who need to pick up a gift or a new coat or bike, but can't pay until payday. His largest is well known. While Mark proudly boasts of his kind deeds, trying to paint himself in a positive light, this man has a dark side. A loss prevention officer who was employed by the four-star Amazon store casually entered rummage around when he noticed something suspicious. It appeared that sets that were stolen from the Amazon store had made it onto the shelves of the local consignment store, with most of the Lego sets still having the RFID tags on them. What is a RFID tag? According to Adentive, RFID tags are a type of tracking system that uses radio frequency to search, identify, track, and communicate with items and people. Essentially, RFID tags are smart labels that can store a range of information, from several numbers to a short description and even pages of data. Once a loss prevention employee left the store, he immediately contacted SPD. Seattle police concocted a plan. Plainclothes detectives would pose as customers and attempt to sell RFID marked stolen products. They called the operation Mandel Organized Retail Theft because a decent amount of the stolen sets were based off the popular hit show, The Mandalorian. An undercover detective visited the store with 75318, the child in hand. He approached the store owner, Mark Brady, telling him that he had just stolen the baby Yoda from the four star Amazon store. Brady said he did not like the set was marked, but could cut the marker off. The detective proceeded to query about what the store owner needed. Brady replied that he would take Lego sets, the big ones. After weeks of investigation, detectives came to the conclusion Brady knowingly sold stolen sets. And even at one point, Brady instructed the shoplifter what sets to steal. While there is no public information identifying the shoplifter, the man is believed to be 32 years old. The shop owner was later arrested by police and charged with first-degree trafficking of stolen property, which is considered a felony. The value of the stolen sets were valued at over $10,000. After being released from jail, Brady told the Washington Post he has never knowingly bought stolen goods and planned to retain a lawyer. I do want to fight this, Brady is quoted as saying. Mark Brady set up a GoFundMe to raise $15,000, but failed to accomplish his goal, only raising $400. The man must be quite delusional because police had gathered evidence before making the arrest. Thinking that others would support him is quite ludicrous. Instead of taking accountability for his actions, Brady chose to lie and instead try to portray himself as a good Samaritan that cared about helping the community. And while that might be true, he chose to give up his integrity for money. At the moment, there's no public information of the conclusion of this case, but rummage around, the store is still going strong.